Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the growth function. The growth function is one of the statistics function in Excel and what the growth function does is it estimates exponential growth based on some historical data. So in the question that maybe we want to try to answer here in this case, you know, as an example was what do rabbits and bacteria have in common? Well, they grow exponentially. So maybe you've heard that rabbits grow like weeds. So if you put rabbits together and leave them there for a couple months or a couple years, you'll notice when you come back and see those rabbits, they have just multiplied uh, immensely. And that could be the same for bacteria. If you tried to grow bacteria in a petri, petri dish, uh, you probably have heard that you know once you put some bacteria into a petri dish, uh, it grows exponentially. It just kind of doubles or over time. So this is what a chart may look like when uh, something grows exponentially. You have some, you have initially some steady growth. After it hits a certain period, it just grows like crazy, and that is considered exponential growth. Now, let me show you an example of how we can use the growth function to chart that, to predict that. So let's say, for example, we have something, we have these count of periods. These, these could be uh, one day, one month, one year, and we have our items that are values that will grow exponentially. So we have some previous data that indicates that there's some exponential growth. So in this case, uh, every two periods, it's doubling. So after about 10 periods, we want to estimate for the next period, from the 11th period to the 30th period, maybe these are months, what is the estimated growth? So what we can do is we can use the growth function. And the growth function is an array function. That means when you execute that function, you have to use the keyboard combination, control, shift, and enter instead of just pressing enter. So let's go ahead and select the cells where we want the estimated exponential growth prediction. So I'm going to go ahead and select from 11 to 30. And I'm going to go ahead and type equals growth. We see here that the, the tip here indicates that it's just one command based on those three letters. I'm going to go ahead and press the tab key to complete that. And we have our known y's. So the known y's are this value. So basically the values that you're trying to predict. And then the known x's in our case is the time period. So those values in that time period in those 10 periods. And now the new x's. What am I going to predict for? The next uh, to 11 to 30 time period. So that's going to be from here. A12 to A31, and you can see that it's selected it here. I'm going. I don't need to uh, use the constant argument here. I'm just going to go ahead and press Enter or Control Shift and then Enter, and it has estimated the growth for us. So the growth at 11th at the 11th period is 1024. At the 12th period is 2048. You can kind of see that it's doubling, and when it gets down to the 30th period, we've got a huge number, a little bit over 536 million. So if we wanted to chart this out, we can just go ahead and select. I'm going to select here, control shift right arrow to select that range from that row, and then control shift down arrow to select the rest of the rows there. And I go ahead and click insert and add a line chart. Go ahead and add this line chart, and you can see that it has selected. Oh, it's uh, it's also put the, the count of periods there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that out. Let me go ahead and select data. So let me go ahead and remove that count of periods. Click remove, OK. And then go back. Let me move my chart back up here. So we have our exponential growth chart. So this is a very basic example of using the growth function to predict some exponential growth of some values based on some historical data. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.